Japan's nuclear regulator has ordered the operator of Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant to remove radioactive wastewater from underground tunnels. High levels of radioactivity have been detected in wells at the site and an adjacent port since May. The utility admitted last week that contaminated water from the facility is leaking into the sea. Calendar in the sink and just slowly pour your water into it. The Nuclear Regulation Authority also told Tokyo Electric Power Company that highly radioactive wastewater in the plant's underground tunnels could seep through gravel beneath one of them. The contaminated water is believed to be coming from turbine buildings connected to the tunnels. The structures are highly contaminated as large amounts of water have been used to cool nuclear fuel in nearby reactor buildings. Tokyo Electric says it will start injecting chemicals into the gravel to block the water it says it will decontaminate the water by circulating it through a purifier from September and drain the tunnels from next April. あの原発以外にもお聞きしたいんですけども原発の件で一つ言っておくと私はあの北千住で最後の日に演説されたのを聞きに行かせていただいたんですけども山本さんおっしゃる中で一つやっぱり気になったのは今もおっしゃってましたけどその民放のテレビがねあのスポンサーの関係で全然本当のこと言えないっていうのはそれはもう全然間違ってましてあのニュースの現場では民放であろうとスポンサーのことを気にせず放送して取材してるわけですよでそこはやっぱりちょっと見解を改めていただきたいということとそれとあの大統領説を聞いててね、思ったのは、もうすぐこのあの国会活動の中での原発の割合というのは、どれぐらいの感じでやっていかれる予定なんですか、やっぱり原発一本でやれるんですかね。ごめんなさい、えー、とあとどれぐらい喋れますか、1分ぐらい、1分ぐらい喋れる、分かりました、えーと、先ほどのスポンサーに影響されないって話ですけど、はい、それは僕、いろんな筋からも聞いてて、僕自身、出れなかったこととかもありますので、やっぱり今、不況の時代に、やっぱり、あの、このコマーシャルをなくしたくないっていう部分がある。でやっぱりそこの影響は確実にあるものだと思いますというのは例えば食品の安全基準1キロあたり100ベクレルこれみんなにこの国が与えた僕たちの食品の安全基準ですよねそのその内容っていうのが1キロあたり100ベクレルは放射性廃棄物と同等だってことはテレビからは伝わってないですよねやっっぱここの被曝ってていうことに対してタブーがこれはもっと気にしていいことなんですよ僕たちの命に関わることなんだからはいこの後もちょっとつなげてみます山本さん時間がなくなってきたんですが国会での情報発信期待しておりますんで頑張ってください期待してますね頑張って<笑><笑>あ今聞こえたあ,あ,ありがとうございますもう終わったかと思った<笑>昔おはようさんで暴れた時に懐かしいですね<笑>出してくださいねわ<笑>かりました<笑>アル。Officials in Miyagi and Iwate Prefecture are expected to finish their clear up work by next March. That there's more work to do in Fukushima Prefecture, officials there have cleared about half of the debris. They've been hampered by high radiation in areas close to the crippled nuclear plant. People in Japan's disaster stricken areas have put great store in promises that their communities will be rebuilt. Oh my God. But officials now say more than one third of last year's budget for recovery from the March 2011 disaster went unused. This suggests the work has not been going smoothly. Government officials allocated about $97 billion in reconstruction funds for the fiscal year that ended in March. About 65% of the money was spent. Officials of the reconstruction agency say the planning of rebuilding and radiation decontamination projects took more time than expected. They pledged the unused funds will still be used for reconstruction.
sometimes I just think funny things. <laughs> Another claim of data manipulation has emerged for a drug maker, Novaltis, in Japan. A clinical study on their blood pressure drug is being challenged. Jikei University Medical School announced the results of its probe into Novaltis Pharma's drug, Diovan. The investigation panel says the study contains data on blood pressure that does not match the original clinical records. The panel believes the data was not altered by the school's researchers. It says the study was carried out by a former official of Novaltis Pharma, but the panel criticizes the researchers, saying they falsely reported the pharmaceutical company did not participate in the study. The former company official was involved in Diovan clinical tests at a number of medical schools. Earlier this month, Kyoto Prefectural University of Medicine said its clinical study may have wrongly concluded that the drug is more effective than other medications in reducing brain strokes and angina. Novaltis Pharma used the results of the clinical study to promote Diavan. Annual sales of the drug in Japan were worth about $1 billion. A month's worth of rain fell in some parts of western Japan on Sunday. The downpour led to flooding and landslides. It killed one person, with at least three others still missing. The deluge saw more than 100 millimeters of rain per hour fall on parts of Yamaguchi and Shimane prefectures. A 79-year-old woman died when her home collapsed. More than 200 millimeters of rain lashed the coastal region to the north of the two prefectures in 24 hours. The water level of rivers has been rising in Ishikawa Prefecture, and there is danger of flooding. Residents in parts of the northern island of Hokkaido have also seen heavy rains. What's the worst that could happen When you get out there and try try, you fail. You gotta gamble, you gotta take chances. Oh, don't spend your whole life chasing that white whale. Don't spend your whole life. What's the worst that could happen? What's the very, very worst? In order for the worst
Hope you enjoyed that song. I'm going to be out of internet range.